here after the whole high crimes DLC, well, a new character has been added. Now, I'm not entirely sure what movie this guy is actually from, but I know he's supposed to be from a movie. But your context for this guy is, needs to be fast or dead. The choice is yours. So let's begin. I'm going to an early level just so you can see how this character works. And if you notice, here in the top right corner, I can't actually um, show you, I guess, my mouse. There is a timer. That is our death timer. Now we can supercharge ourselves by holding the right trigger, which will decrease your time. If you notice there, but it makes you move faster. So, good and the bad, you know. So every time you kill someone, you get some of their time, I guess. As a result, you want to try to find the isolated guys and pick them off rather quickly. These guys are making it a little too easy. So as you can see, the whole challenge to this character is just the timer. If not for that, then there's really much to it. So I don't want to get too close to that crime scene to be picked up by the police by mistake or anything. So I'm just going to hang back a bit. Now this poor sap is alone, so we need to deal with them. And now for the witness in the window. busy night ahead of him. So we still have three minutes approximately. We can try to pick up some of these guys. Okay. Most of these guys have been reduced to a fine pulp. Should be able to throw her into the fire. Boom, boom. So we'll go ahead and rig this for the next victim, and we'll tr actually we can poison this, can't we? Except this person. So far, so good. Now, to get them to disperse, let's dance. Usually, this works. <laughs> when the whole spree is going to get a little more difficult, I guess. Also kind of sucks that no one is drinking the boys in punch. She's going to 
discover the body. Or no. Aw, oh, man. At this point, I'm almost at where I need to uh, just start stabbing people somewhat at random. hoping for is for someone to drop in on the dance floor so that way they'll disperse. So I had to do this the old-fashioned gruesome way. So I didn't really show the whole supercharge thing, but we'll reload the level and I'm just going to use it right at the beginning. You can see that he doesn't really play too much differently from anyone else. You arrived at the scene. So... so there's, like, his portrait is in the bottom left corner. I don't know if it's supposed to mark that every time you beat it with a character, or if it's just some sort of challenge related to this guy. So watch the timer as we charge up, that red bar fills up, and we are a lot faster than normal, but it costs us quite a bit of time, so that's the big trade-off. Then the other trade-off you have to make is whether or not you want to kill people with your environment stuff or your knife, because you only get the time bonus with your knife. So, that's the new character. If you're interested, you can go ahead and give him a shot, but I only wanted to do this just in case you were wondering what he's like, because let I looked around myself, no one else is covering it. I know a lot of you guys were interested in this game after I did the uh, High Crimes DLC, so there you go. I would say it's a Jason Statham movie, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I'm your Dark Hero. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.